doing a history degree. Soon, she's graduating, so she started to look for a job and applied for a position of a software engineer. Ladies tend to make a rational decision to become an engineer. It was backed up by programming courses. Initially, it was her hobby, but then it became a dream. Recruiters usually feel when a person is passionate or curious to, uh, to learn something new. <coughs> Candidates with such attitude usually receive job offers much often, but not Jenna. For half a year, she was applying to dozens of positions, but not even one considered her application. She received an email response from the employer only once, the automated email saying that the person went on holidays. What if I told you that I know the reason for this problem? And no, it's not Jana's or recruiter's fault. What if I told you that the reason for a situation Jana ended up in is a simple A4 paper, which we call ACV. Past generations valued years of experience. So in 1482, Leonardo da Vinci wrote a list of his capabilities on a paper and it is acknowledged to be a first CV. Traditional resumes haven't changed much since 15th century. They present a professional information as a chronological snapshot of your employment history. Resumes are static, requiring constant review, especially for students and young professionals who acquire skills on a daily basis. Imagine how many trees would suffer if you would need to print a new CV every week. But candidates have to acquire new skills in order to stay competitive. The recent development of the internet opened a new horizon of education, online education, which is extensive, user-friendly, and affordable for all users of all types. Another problem with the CV that it makes a decision based on stereotypes. And those stereotypes are related to our gender, ethnicity, or education. They keep our mind as a hostage, even if we want to set it free. The idea that the level of skills depends on university or other factors is usually misleading. But research shows that those factors play a crucial role in the hiring decision, and this would decrease chances of Jana to find her dream job. At PeachMe, we thought, what, what data is constantly updated? What information we can use in order to substitute CV and create a new professional identity? The digital footprint. Each of us create a profile of who we are online, if you're using internet on a daily basis, you have a digital footprint. But not each of you realize what implications your online presence has on your employability. Some employers not only use, but they require to have a digital footprint. For example, media, advertising, or PR. They can check your creativity online simply via the blogs, videos, or publications or they can request example of your previous work which you did online. Your up-to-date social media profiles, professional freelance websites provide a valuable data about your professional abilities. With the above-mentioned data, we were able to build a new version of professional self-presentation, which we call a smart me profile. This is a real-time snap of what you can what your motivations are, and what job would be the best fit for you. It is important for us not only to give a comprehensive list of professional capabilities of a candidate, but also to advise what skills needs to be developed in order to meet the emergent needs of the market. It is important for you to have a full control of what data from your personal identity is used. It is important to understand how different traits influence your employability. It is important by building online profile 
to be transparent and have a full informed consent. You can also enhance your digital footprint by uh, carefully judged contributions in discussions, in social posts, or simply by leaving a review on the popular websites. Are you aware that 70% of employers use search engines to obtain more information about candidates? Moreover, 54% of those employers report to change their mind once they obtain more information about a person. If employers will learn how to use your digital footprint, they can reduce the amount of hiring mistakes they make. So, Gianna created a profile with us. She successfully passed a task. She was invited to an interview. And imagine how surprised was the employer when instead of experienced and mature professional, he saw a young lady curious for new opportunities. So this story doesn't also only show how to get a job matching your skills. It raises an important question are you aware what your real skills are? Are you aware what is an ideal job for you? New recruitment technology doesn't only help you to, to get matched with the jobs. It also teaches you about yourself, opening up new horizons of professional development. Now is a perfect time to join a continuous journey of professional self-discovery. Now it's finally time for you to be yourself when you are looking for a job. Now it is a time to set your professional identity free from the chains of CV. And I am wondering, are you ready or not? Thank you.